Hey everyone, so if you've been keeping up with my channel for the last couple weeks or months, um, you'll know I'm doing a lot of projects right now and I'm trying to finish them and I'm actually... So basically I'm doing two books. One of them is a print book, which is pretty much almost ready to be printed. It's my mermaid book. And then the other one is my backpack animal children's book, which is about 40% done, maybe 30, but I, I have to... Um, basically paint it all now and I kind of let everything get super disorganized in my like workspace over the last like m few months I've just kind of let stuff slip away like there's a mess there it looks kind of clean right now but it's not really that clean it's not the way I like it to be you'll see I have a fish tank there that's actually pretty clean I recently did a trim and a water change and it looks pretty good I'm actually gonna be um upgrading that soon, but that's another, that's not related to this. So I just kind of wanted to show you me going through everything and cleaning things and a little summer cleaning organization of all my art supplies. Cause I, I've done a video like this before and it's kind of fun to just like kind of take you with me and do this. I'm gonna turn on my softbox light so you can kind of see what's happening. The lighting situation is super weird in my room. <laughs> this is my camera mount if you're wondering what this is. Um, my lights, I have a coffee today, my switch, my scanner. It'll, this will basically be a tour and a cleanup video and if you need to clean stuff up too, put this on and clean with me because I've been putting this off for a long time. It's mostly going to be a focus on my workstation, my art supplies. I need to get ready to start doing a bunch of paintings for my book so I need to get organized and do that. I bought some organizers from the dollar store, just some cheap things. So these are just like drawer organizers that... I'm gonna use somewhere. Um, I plan to put my safety pins and paper clips and stuff in here. Um, these are for envelopes. Um, when I'm packaging up stuff, I think this is gonna help me a lot to just be able to stand things up. And also, I don't know, like if this works for me, I might grab more to keep books, but I also don't. I, this will be more of like a temporary thing I use when I'm doing um, Patreon or mailing stuff. This is for my printer ink. I kind of wanted to start with this actually because, oh, I also bought this just because it kind of reminded me of school a little bit because we have these little like paintbrush caddies and I kind of wanted one because <laughs> you can have like different water in each one. I just thought it'd be a good thing. Um, and this I thought would be good for paintbrushes because you can kind of put them in and see. This is just all from a uh, like Dollar Tree. I haven't been to a dollar store in months. So it was kind of weird to go in, but I sanitized everything and they've been sitting for a couple days so they should be good and clean and ready uh, to actually start using. So my printer ink, I use a refill system from Precision Colors because their ink is really good quality for, um, for like as far as refill systems come, this is pretty much what everybody uses. So they're squeezy bottles to refill the cartridges and these bottles refill the squeezy bottles. It comes with a chip resetter, a um, little instruction thing. I think it's not good to have ink in cardboard boxes because I had a leak once and it could have went all over my carpet and my floor, which is not good. This is the yellow ink cartridge that you can't use anymore because there's something to do with the, the regular Canon yellow and the precision color yellow that they, they don't react well together. So you have to use a fresh cartridge from them. This is like way, way, way cheaper than buying cartridges every time um, because to get a full refill set like this, it's about $100, but then you can refill your cartridges over and over and over and over, and it's just a lot better and it's still really good quality. So that's what I do. So I'm going to put them in these white bins instead, which I think is a lot better. <laughs> and since it's white, I can tell if anything has spilled, but they really shouldn't. There'd be no reason for them to spill it. Will I only have to use one? Ooh, I might only need to use one bin. I thought I was gonna have to use two. So yeah, everything fits in this bin, that's great. I don't know where I will keep it. I wanna keep it away from my carpet. So I think just beside my printer is good. My printer is actually here. I'll show you a better view of that. The floor is really creaky. I'm gonna put these beside it. Okay, please ignore all the dust and debris all over my floor. I will give that a vacuum and clean up when I am 
done going through everything, but this is where I keep all my paper. This can either be printer paper, sticker paper, watercolor paper, any kind of paper I like to put here, and my Cricut mats as well, and just like other paper stuff. So I need to sort through that and figure out a system <laughs> because there's no system. Okay, these are fresh boxes of Canon matte photo paper. I use these for prints because I really like matte paper and this is just good. There's something about the way the matte paper feels that I just really like. My watercolor paper, I need to buy more of this. It's the Arches Hot Pressed, which I really like. Oh, wait, do I seriously still have... I guess these are for bigger prints. Matte photo paper, 8.5 by 11. I guess that's good to have. I was like, why do I have this? I never print on 8.5 by 11. But when I open my store again, which I want to do, I will be using that. I do like luster paper though, so I might switch to luster paper because it just feels really, just really like it. Okay, I have four things of photo paper because I don't like to not have any. I like to kind of stock up just in case because of everything. It's kind of hard to go out and buy stuff. Like you kind of don't really want to go out because things spike randomly. Okay. Oh, this is more paper. Some pens, which I over there smooth bristol paper this is good for drawing just like just like very like general paper for using anything that isn't wet media duralar which is just mylar um it's transparent paper i bought it for school because i wanted to try it out printer paper put it on the pile canson watercolor paper this is really surprisingly good paper like very good budget watercolor paper if if you're not going to be doing like a full-fledged like tons of washes and like it's not good for like a like a standard watercolor painting but for mixed media stuff that involves watercolor this is my go-to cheap paper because it works like it's not the best in the world but it gets the job done if it's not going to be like like a heavy duty watercolor painting my old ipad case with all the nice stickers on it I wonder if there's a way I can take these off with a hair dryer. <laughs> I'm gonna put the case there too. Like miscellaneous stuff that goes with electronics. This goes with the Cintiq, so that'll go with it as well. Sticker paper. Glossy sticker paper because I wanted to try it. See if my Cricut can handle it because glossy sticker paper is kind of nice. My Cricut cutting mats are here. How many do I have? Oh, my X-Acto knives. Those. It's always good to have a bunch of those. I just bought a box of 12, so I never run out of a uh, sharp blade. Paper, like watercolor and all that kind of stuff will go here. And then printer stuff will go up there. I think I want to keep this sticker paper in my organizer over here for all my shop stuff. These drawers are the real problem. There's just so much like stuff in them that I, I, like I use all of this, but it's disorganized and just, I, I, I regularly organize this, so it could be a lot worse, but I'm, I really just want to stay organized, so I need to get on top of this. So I'm probably gonna pull them all out, pull out all my pencils, everything, and just like go through everything. Soap to clean brushes. Well, not really actually to clean, to keep the frisket off. A big thing of black ink. Okay, so this is the paint drawer right here. Palettes. I don't really use, I kind of do, I don't know. Like, I hate stacking things on top of each other because then, like, I have to, like, slide things around to get stuff out. Like, I want these to be accessible and not have too much stuff in it. So, maybe this is all I need. This drawer is pretty organized except for this stuff. This is all the liquid ink. Oh, 
which I honestly just kind of want it to be like that. I think I need to use one of these organizers. This is watercolor. What is this? That's so dried up. Dropper. Okay. So we got acrylic gouache. I want to keep my acrylic gouache separate, so maybe I can still use this box and keep the acrylic gouache in there. Because acrylic gouache dries when it's dry, like it's, it can't be moved at all. So I think maybe keeping them in here is good because I never really use them. All of this is pretty much, pretty much use all of this. Okay, I like that a lot better. I don't really use pastels, but I like to have them. I actually have a bag of pastels somewhere that I don't know. Okay. There's one more drawer that I have that I want to empty and use it for pencils and stuff like that. This drawer. So let's get everything out. My pencils will go in here. This needs organizing badly, but I'm thinking I can use the lid to keep the special ones kind of separate. So like the ones with erasers. This is a sketching pencil that shouldn't be there. This is like a big pencil. That should be it. Pastels could go here as well. Probably just, I don't know. I like syringes and a mister thing for misting stuff for the watercolor in there. Black ink. Rubber cement doesn't really belong. Oh, and I wanted the soap to be in there. The bone folder would need to be there. I don't know where my brushes are. <laughs> it's not good. Because my brushes have to fit in somewhere here and I don't know where they are. This is a good starting point though. I'm gonna put them back. Okay, I have some brushes here. So I've organized all the stuff I've been just accumulating in the pencil holders on my desk into pencils, um, pens, the cheap ballpoint pens, these paint markers, those black pens and like sketching inking materials, white gel pens, brushes, um, highlighters and pencil and sharpeners and erasers. So I need to look in there because that's where I keep this stuff and see if it all fits. Okay, these should be out. So these are where I keep like markers and gel pens and like colored stationary stuff that I like to use in sketchbooks or if I'm planning stuff or writing stuff down, like I keep them here. And those other two drawers are all my inking stuff and my pencils, like just graphite pencils. I wasn't sure about this at first, but put all my brushes in there and stuff and it actually kind of works. We'll see.
here's all my erasers, oh my gosh. My earbud replacements are in here. Paper clips. So I've basically organized everything I need to and I'll show you what I did. So I showed you, I basically made this drawer just all about pencils and just so that they're easy to get. I just, my main goal is for things to be accessible and um, organized and just like easy to use so I don't have to like struggle with getting things out of drawers. Like it just makes it easier to access everything. So those are the pencils. I made this just paint basically, mm, like gouache and ink. I guess, and like painting supplies, like the little bits and pieces, like half pan things, syringes, misters, like stuff like that. All my gouache is here, very easy to see and access. Before it was in this really tall box and that was hard to kind of get at, so these, this makes it easier. Then all my liquid watercolor back there, mostly Ecoline stuff, Ecoline brand um, and other ink. And then um, these gel pens, which I just don't really know where else to put them. Um, colored liners, I don't really use them though, but my mini palette and my acrylic gouache is back here. I don't use it as much as my just regular gouache, because regular gouache reactivates with water, acrylic gouache does not. So this one is with all my watercolor, and I wanted the palettes to be easy to get at, so they're there. Um, and then all the paint is there, and other palettes, and um, regular palettes too. I don't know where my brushes are, I, I I really don't know where I put them. Like I have some brushes but I can't find my big pack of brushes, I don't know where they are but they will eventually go in here. So this is all my printer stuff, all my paper for making prints. My printer is there, it's a Canon Pixma Pro, it's really big and I have a Cricut there to cut stickers. Um, so this is for that. And there's printer paper which I just print documents and stuff with it if I ever just need to print something. Um, that's there, and then I have my watercolor paper, the mylar, the other watercolor paper, other watercolor paper, my Cricut cutting mats, and then some electronics that I don't use. And I changed the drawers here. Um, I actually put this little thing with refills and stuff in here with paper clips that are easy to get, so I just pull this out if I need anything. It's a lot easier than having to go in my drawer. Um, this is all my stationary stuff, all the like bits and pieces like rulers, glue, glue guns, um, playing cards that I keep there, and all my paint markers, and all my X-Acto blades, which I think are good to keep there. This is all my acrylic paint, I didn't show you because it's really like, there's not really much to organize to be honest. Um, my brushes might be in there, no they're not. And inside here are all my um, games, and the drawer's broken. <laughs> So it doesn't, that was really loud, it doesn't really stay. So this little section is now very organized. On here I keep all my SD cards and um, USB drives and all that stuff. And I organize this, so it's all my pencils, just basic graphite. All my... <laughs> all my black ink markers are in here and some of them are like dark blue or dark brown. And here are all my um, highlighters and markers and all the like colored stuff that don't really fit anywhere else so like there's like brush markers and fine liners colored gel pens stuff like that um, these are just cool pens I have that fit into this thing they are nice colors so I keep them and sticky notes which I use a lot and this new little like brush holder thing where I can just easily access my brushes I think it's pretty cool. I thought it would be too top heavy, but it's actually not bad. And my white gel pens are there. 
I feel like I'm in a constant state of like moving stuff around and constantly cleaning, but I'm just gonna show you what's here. My tablet that I use, um, if I wanna draw on my computer, my computer's there, a cooler that is not really mine, I'm borrowing it from my dad, but he doesn't use his laptop much, but I still use the cooler sometimes. My switch is there, it moves around all the time. All my cables that are labeled and organized, it looks like a mess, but it's not. My scanner, I like to keep a cover on it to keep dust out. Um, my iPads, yes I have two because one was given to me for, for school, um, that's why I have two. Um, my voice recorder, microphone, it's not mine, just borrowing it also, and my paper cutter. So I hope you enjoyed this video to see me organize my art supplies, I don't know how interesting that would have been, but I've done it before and it was kind of nice to just sort of show you my thought process for how I like to keep things. Um, I try to keep it simple and organized and I like things to be accessible. And I like to keep only things that I know I will use and anything that I know that I won't use I like to give to other people just to keep things less cluttered because I always do better when things are not cluttered. Let me know what kind of studio you have or your- not, this isn't even a studio, this is my bedroom. But let me know what workstation you have, where you do your art, do you like it to keep it clean or really cluttered because I know some people work differently. Let me know what it's like or what your future goals are for your workspace. I've been basically building this up for like ever since I started YouTube which would be like seven years so it's taken very like slow improvements over time. I need a new chair really badly but I hope you enjoyed this. It was a fun little chatty video to make for you and I'll see you in my next video.